<laughs> Everybody's kept busy doing their, you know, their own things. John, you were pretty busy as well. I mean, you really made a lot of use of this year for sure. Um, you know, I, I will say, I think it's very interesting that everybody in a synchronous way had all this free time. And I'm not sure we know what everyone's done with it yet. And I think it's very <laughs> exciting. A year from now, you're going to see people do some stuff in a snap and you're going to go, where did you learn to do that? And they'll go, it was a long year. <laughs> That's so true. Um, remember that year? So I really like this idea that everybody, I mean, it's, it's, it's lemonade from lemons, but the idea that people sort of put themselves in this sort of university kind of mindset of like, well, what can I get accredited in? What can I get a, you know, what can I get, what, what can I have leaving this? that will be more than just the things I saw or the extra weight. But I did make a record that I didn't see coming. When we first went in the lockdown, I don't know if you guys had the same experience. There was no music inside of me. I was in a very kind of objective based tactical mindset. And that, has, that plays no music in my head. I picked up a guitar for a second. I went, I don't know the world. For the first time in my life, my inner world does not match the world. I am out of date with exactly what's going on. And all of this musical sensibility that I've built is, cannot be useful right now. And I put the guitar down. And then when I picked it up again, like maybe two months into it, it felt so good that it became, and all the way through the, the end of, last year, maybe even into January of this year, just the elixir. It was the only thing to do that could give some peace. And I, it made my record really great. And I think it's probably made everyone's record really great. I think when people start putting records out in the next few months, they're all going to be bangers because yeah. what, what the pandemic did was force your focus, right? Like everything that was a distraction was gone. And the only thing you could do was music. And it really, for me, I don't know if you guys have had this experience. It reminded me of when I made my first record. It, it's the lean years. You can't fly anywhere. It used to be because you didn't have the money. And now it's because yeah. you can't. So all of this stuff pushing against us, for me, the only other time I experienced that were the forces of not being successful, not having any money, not being able to do anything but make music to survive. And I think, again, that's the lemonade coming out of the lemons. I certainly don't wish for it, but that is the silver lining is that I think people's art is going to be more powerful than ever because they had nothing else to do but make it. I couldn't leave the studio to go to dinner, right? When I would have been able to write that lyric, there was no dinner. So you're forced to stay and focus on the music. And, and so to that end, it, it, it was really cool. And I think the record's great and it's going to piss off some deadheads because it is not... <laughs> inspired music through and through it could be a incredibly pop man it's a very <laughs> pop record so we'll see i you know by now, have it. i enjoy i enjoy the wavelengths beating up against each other i think it's an art form unto itself at this point i do too contrasts yeah 